friends, this video on potentiometer part 7 is brought to you by examtheo.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to look at few problems. A resistance of R ohms draws current from a potentiometer. The potentiometer has a total resistance R0 ohms, a voltage. Okay, let us first try to draw the basic structure of a potentiometer. Let us suppose these are the two ends of the long wire. So it is connected to the driving circuit. Okay. This is the galvanometer. Okay. So this is my potentiometer. Now a resistance of R ohms draws current from a potentiometer. That means a resistance of R ohms is connected to the potentiometer in this fashion. Right? Potentiometer has a total resistance of R0 ohms. That means the total resistance provided by this rheostat is R0 ohms. A voltage V is supplied to the potentiometer. So maybe this battery is supplying a potential a, a poten voltage of V. Derive an expression for the voltage across R when the sliding contact is in the middle of the potentiometer. That means when this sliding contact is exactly at the middle of the potentiometer. In that case, what would be <coughs> the voltage across R? That is again very simple. So let us suppose that, let us suppose the galvanometer is connected to the midpoint. Right? Let us call this point as P. Clear? So now if this R0 it was the total resistance between point A and B, then we can say that this side the resistance is R0 by 2, this side the resistance is R0 by 2. Right? So now if you look at it, the potential at this point and the potential at this point will be the same. Similarly, the potential at this point and the potential at this point will be same if the galvanometer doesn't show any deflection, right? So we can say that this resistance R is in parallel with R0 by 2, right? So we can say that the resistance R and R0 by 2 are in parallel combination. Therefore, we can find out their equivalent resistance that is the net resistance of this portion of, of the, this circuit that will be equal to 1 by R1 is equal to 1 by R plus 2 by R0. So from this we see that R1 is equal to R R0 divided by R0 plus 2R. Here R0, R1 denotes the equivalent resistance of R and R0 by 2. So now if you look at the net equivalent resistance of the circuit that will be this R1 in series with this R0 by 2. So this will be equal to R0 by 2 plus R1 that is equal to R0 by 2 plus R R0 divided by R0 plus 2R. So this will be the net equivalent resistance of this circuit. Now what will be the current through the potentiometer? Now we know that the voltage supplied to the potentiometer is V. So the current through the potentiometer I will be equal to V divided by that equivalent resistance of the circuit. Therefore I will be equal to V divided by R0 by 2 plus R R0 divided by R0 plus 2R. This will be the current flowing through the potentiometer. Right? Therefore, what will be the voltage across R? Let us suppose, let the voltage across R be denoted by V1. So, if V1 is the voltage across R, that V1 will be equal to I into R1. R1 is the net resistance of this circuit. So therefore, we can say that V1 will be equal to I R1. What is I? I is V divided by R0 by 2 plus R R0 divided by R0 plus 2R multiplied by R1. And what is R1? We calculated before that is R R0 divided by R0 plus 2R. 
so from this we can say v divided by 2 into r naught plus 2 r to r naught into r naught plus 2 r plus 2 r r naught so this multiplied by r r naught divided by r naught plus 2 r so here we can take r naught as common so this r naught will get cancelled with this r naught so we get v into 2 r naught plus 2 r divided by r naught plus 2 r plus 2 r multiplied by r divided by r naught plus 2 r this r naught plus 2 r and this r naught plus 2 r will get cancelled so we get 2 v r divided by r naught plus 4 r so this is the potential difference across the resistance r here okay so let us look at the last problem in a potentiometer arrangement a cell of emf 1.25 volts gives a balance point at 35 centimeter length of the wire so let us suppose if this is the potentiometer arrangement where we have this galvanometer these are the two ends of the wire and these are the two ends of the potentiometer so there is a cell of emf 1.25 volts which gives a balance point at 35 centimeter length of the wire so the point p where the galvanometer shows no deflection that is also known as balance point so if the cell is replaced by another cell and the balance point shifts to 63 centimeter what is the emf of the second cell so that means in the first scenario we have a cell of emf e1 in the second scenario we remove that cell of emf e1 and put another cell of emf e2 and in the problem it is given that e1 is equal to 1.25 volts and e2 we do not know so e2 we have to calculate but when this e1 was there the balance point maybe p1 was found at a distance of 35 centimeters that means l1 was equal to 35 centimeters when it was replaced with e2 then l2 became equal to 63 centimeter so don't you think that it is very easy to calculate the emf of the second cell now we already saw that using a potentiometer we can compare the emfs of two cells like this e1 by e2 is equal to l1 by l2 therefore we can say that e2 is equal to l2 by l1 into e1 so that is equal to 63 divided by 35 into 1.25 so this comes out to be 2.25 volts so this is going to be the emf of the second cell right okay so that was all about potentiometer so i hope that the explanation on potentiometer helped you in understanding the device thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.